Hey everyone, greetings from Panama City Beach in Florida. We're out walking on the beach a little bit this morning. And I uh, wanted to say hey to y'all. And I'm going to miss you all. Looking forward to being back. Thought we'd uh, uh, turn the camera around here in a second and uh, do a little bit of a testimony uh, and things that we saw here. As most of you may have heard, there was a EF3 tornado hit uh, right where we're staying last uh, Tuesday, right before we got here. And um, so it's kind of interesting that the tornado probably hit right out in the building that we were at. So there's damage on both sides. Fortunately, the building that we're in was not damaged under a few railings and things of that sort. Uh, anyway, as we turn, I got it kind of reminded me of us of a verse as we were uh, <clears throat> as we saw this. So I'll, I'll walk over there, and Mary will continue to to look at it. As you can see, the building behind me got damaged pretty significantly, and. It reminded us of a verse in the scriptures, and I'm going to go ahead and read that verse. Uh, this is from Matthew 7, uh, starting in verse 24. It says, Therefore, everyone who hears the words of mine and puts them into practice is like the wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew, and beat against the house, yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew, and the and beat against that house and it fell with a great crash. So you can see this building behind us. Uh, the wind hit that and it fell down, and I'm sure it was built according to codes and everything, but you know, there's no guarantees in life of uh, any kind of uh, building lasting through any kind of a earthquake or storm or tornado. But the scripture is a good reminder that we build our house on the words that Jesus said, and we should be doing those, and you know, our eternal house is secure. So uh, anyway, it was a good reminder for us when we see some of the damage that we saw here that you know, nothing's permanent except for our relationship with the Lord and the kingdom of God. So hopefully everybody's encouraged, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you again. And uh, God bless you, and have a great service.